If you have a Samsung phone that is bootlooping, that is stuck on the Samsung logo, or some weird software issue that's preventing it from fully booting up, I'm gonna show you guys how to flash a new firmware without losing any data. Now just keep in mind, it is a very technical process, so pay attention to every single step and try this at your own risk. Because if you do the wrong thing, you could potentially wipe all the data off the phone. So I'm gonna show you guys which programs I use, which websites, and all that stuff, and full step-by-step -step process. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if you use this tutorial to help you out. So let's go ahead and get started with this phone. So as you can see, this is an S24 Ultra, and it has some user data on there. So we're gonna go through the whole process, and you'll see the data will still be there. First thing you wanna do is, uh, in, in your case, the phone might be bootlooping, so it'll be a little trickier, but the goal is to have it in the powered off state, All right, it's off. Now if it's bootlooping, you'll have to time it properly to get it into download mode. So that's the first thing we wanna do. And th on this model, S24 Ultra, press up and down volume buttons and then power at the same time. One, two, three, press and hold. And just hold until you get this blue screen. And then you push volume up. But this is what it should look like. Now there's a ton of videos on download mode, so I'm not gonna go too deep in that. The goal is to get into download mode where it says here, right? So it says downloading, do not turn off, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you want to get out of download mode, just follow these instructions. But the goal is get into download mode, then plug in the phone to your computer. Now, this is going to be all Windows, does not support Mac. So once you have your phone plugged in, open up Sam Key. I will put a link on where to download that. It is a program that allows us to read the existing software information on the phone. So here on the right, you want to click Read Info DL. Make sure you only click this and not click the other ones. Like I said, if you click the wrong button, uh, you're gonna have a bad time. So read info in download mode. And then it's gonna give you some information about the software on the phone. So some key information is device model. That is one thing you will need. Also the version and the carrier, which in this case says XAA. So what you wanna do is go to samfw.com. And once you're here, you're gonna want to use the search bar and search for the model. So in this case, it is SM-S928U1. Click on that, and this will bring you to all the downloads available for this model. And then what you wanna do is, if you go back over here, there's the XAA carrier code. So if you search here, right? So these are different carrier. Basically, uh, Samsung makes uh, a firmware version for your carrier. Now, I'm not gonna talk about any uh, flashing for unlocking or anything. This is just to flash, this is just for data recovery uh, if you have a blue looping phone or some software issue to fix. I don't care about uh, carrier unlocks or any of that FRP. All right, so what you're gonna find here is a list of all the files that the site has for XAA for the S24 Ultra. And then you can see here the dates as well, uh, the build date, so this is like the year, month, and day, uh, there's basically all the different firmwares, and it's usually the top is the newest, and then it gets older as you go down. All right, and then you wanna go to the version, and you'll see it ends with uh, essentially AYA1, right? And then if you go here, you'll see the latest one is the one with AYA1. So this is gonna be the one. Now, if you look closely, it actually doesn't match exactly, so that's fine. I actually flashed this one earlier. Actually, this was a CPU swap that was stuck on uh, Android logo forever. And then once I flashed it, I fixed it. And I'm just gonna go through the same process I did earlier. So, um, so this file here, you click on it. This is the one we want, AYA1. And then this is what you wanna do. Click on this one, download Sam FW2. I, I feel like this one is the most stable. Anytime I click it, it downloads the file right away. No need to create an account. And as you can see, I already have it downloaded on my computer. This is the file that I just showed you. So I'm not gonna download it again. And it actually downloads really fast. So no accounts, nothing special, just literally click and download. Now once you have it downloaded, you're gonna have this, a zip file. So you have to extract all so you get the folder. Because right now it's all zipped, compressed into one file. So when you extract it, it'll uh, expand it out so when you open this, then you'll see all the files that are needed for this flash, all right? And then they're, they have a prefix, which is very important. So we'll come back to that here in a second. The next thing is you're gonna have to open Odin. 
So if you just Google search Odin, uh, I'll put a link down below on where to get it. And this is the program Odin version uh, 3.14.14. I think I read that wrong. Doesn't matter, click OK, yeah, whatever. And then this is the program. So you know your phone is connected and everything's working when you get a COM port here. If you unplug it, you'll see it's not there. So you gotta make sure you have this uh, showing up, otherwise the phone is not detected and you're gonna have to figure out the driver issue. I'm not gonna go over that in this video. Um, but let me know down below in the comments if you have driver issues. All right, so this is the program. This is where we actually flash the firmware. So you'll see there's some buttons here and this is the very important part as well. You're, we're only gonna do these four, BL, AP, CP, and CSC. And CSC, there's two CSC files included, and we're gonna flash the home CSC file. That will not wipe your data. If you pick just CSC, data's gonna get wiped, and then data's gone forever. So, just go ahead and click BL, right? And then you see here, here's the files, just to verify that we're looking at the right ones. Uh, in the name is the, version number that we're looking for, AYA1. And the first one is BL. And then you're gonna have to give it a second for it to detect, all right. AP always takes even longer. So pick the one that starts with AP, click it, and then wait. And there you go. So I would say it took a, a, at least one minute, if not longer, two minutes. Then CP, now don't ask me what these initials mean. <laughs> and then CSC. So like I said, there's two files. There's CSC and then home CSC. You wanna pick home CSC. Don't ask me why, that's just how it is. And then user data, you leave blank. And then you click start. So just keep in mind, just remember, you could scroll here, make sure you have home CSC selected as the file because, oh uh, yeah, right here, home CSC. And then the IEL1, right, that's the file we're gonna flash. So it's basically the firmware. Then we click start, and then you're gonna see the progress here. You're gonna see the different steps. And then on the phone itself, you're gonna see a progress bar uh, at the very bottom. Now, I don't wanna to touch the phone because I've noticed my cable, if I move the phone around, it'll disconnect. And I don't wanna do that while this is uh, flashing. But yeah, just keep that in mind as well. If the phone disconnects in the middle of this, you could also risk messing up your data. Uh, there's a lot of things that can go wrong, so if you guys need any data recovery service, reach out to me through my website. It is all linked down below. But this is just a tutorial for reference and hopefully it helps you guys out. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a minute for it to flash and then we'll be right back. And actually we don't need Odin anymore so you can close that out. And there you go, boot it right up. Now sometimes it will show optimizing apps and it'll show like a loading bar, but that's fine. Let me go ahead and unlock it. Phone is starting up. And there you go, same data is on there and the phone is fixed. So if you guys need your data recovered, like I said, reach out to me. We do offer a mail-in service for anyone in the US. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below in the comments what you learned. And if you wanna see more data recovery videos, check out my channel. I'll put another video down here below. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.